Welcome back to the Nintendo Prime, and today we have to talk about a new rumor. Well, sort of new. It technically began in November, but it got very little coverage because the originating source on this rumor, who is a very well-respected journalist who runs one of the most respected video game websites in the world. Uh, well, I, it's not just video games. It's mostly video games. He said something back in November that got ignored because it was mostly in replies to subtweets, but then another journalist brought it up today and look, we got to talk about how after Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Nintendo supposedly has no other major games coming to Switch because they're preparing to release their next generation hardware. Before we do that, though, I got to tell you guys about today's sponsor. So let's go out there and talk about why we're talking about this. First off, it was brought up by Andy Robinson at Video Game Chronicles today, so that is one reason why it's being talked about. Andy Robinson put out a tweet that basically was saying that from what he's heard, there isn't going to be another big game slated for Switch after Tears of the Kingdom, and we should hear about new hardware by 2024. So that suggests, hey, we might hear about the hardware in 2024, but by 2024, it kind of feels like we'll hear about this new hardware at some point in 2023, which means Nintendo would be sort of punting on the holiday next year, but doing so in a way similar to the Switch, where they are hyping up a brand new platform with a bunch of killer software. So it's not saying we won't see big games next year. They just won't be for Switch. Now, this is whatever Andy Robinson has in the past talked about, like the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD coming, and like any other insider, not everything ends up happening. But what's interesting is that he's not the only one because in doing research on this, discovered that Christopher Dring, the head of GameIndustry.biz, was actually talking about this in replies to subtweets back in November, I believe on November 17th. And here's what he said. He heard that after Tears of the Kingdom, and these are from developer sources at Nintendo, that there's no other major game being developed for Switch specifically. And yes, he does note that Pikmin 4 is not considered a major game, which is... It makes sense. It's not like a system selling type of game as much as I actually really enjoy it. Christopher Dring does note that this doesn't mean Nintendo won't have any games after, obviously, Zelda. There could be remasters and remakes of old big games and stuff like this, but no new Mario or Donkey Kong or anything like that. He did say that a new Metroid, obviously Metro Prime 4, a new Mario and new Donkey Kong are coming, but they won't be for Switch. They will be for this next platform, which is... Very interesting. That does suggest Nintendo is going to do a stark abandonment of the old platform instead of doing this cross-gen stuff that PlayStation and Xbox have done for a couple of years. Doesn't mean there won't be backwards compatibility. Does mean that these would be next-gen exclusive games, at least. Uh, so, yeah, he said back in November and people didn't really notice it because it was a, a subtweet reply. Look, I don't know what's going to happen, right? Nobody... The, I mean, I shouldn't say nobody else. Maybe Christopher Dring and Andy Robinson do know because they have actual sources at Nintendo. I don't know anything. I can't verify any of this. We just did a podcast episode last night predicting some things, and obviously this would go against some of those predictions, right? There was a Donkey Kong game predicted, Mario predicted, Metroid Prime 4 predicted for next year, and all of those games would obviously start in 2024. This also suggests that I think the next generation platform, if these rumors are true, would be coming out in early 2024. This also would tell you that Switch Pro isn't going to be a thing, and instead Nintendo is going to move on to their next generation hardware, which would credit John Linneman for being right on the opinions that he gave on his podcast based on developers he's talked to. So this is all really shaping up to be this interesting um, amalgamism of information that if this is all true, that we kind of have a roadmap for Nintendo here. Now, this doesn't mean there won't be new software announced for Switch next year. It's just... They're not going to be the big system sellers. This could mean a new Pokemon game isn't going to arrive next year either, and instead they're going to focus on DLC for Scarlet and Violet. We also know that the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC runs through the end of next year, so I guess you can sort of see where maybe next year is it for Switch. It is the swan song, but the actual definitive final big selling game is going to be Zelda, which I find interesting because we've talked how it feels weird to think Zelda Tears of the Kingdom would be abandoned as the final game to come out, 
I also feel like they're going to find a way to double dip and release re-release it in 4K on the next system or something. I don't know. Also, they could have full backwards compatibility, and all Switch games could have 4K upscaling for all I know. Look, this is going to be very interesting to monitor. I obviously think this is going to limit the you know sales of Tears of the Kingdom, barring some sort of interesting combo that they could do with the next generation system. Uh, whatever. I'm surprised they're not going to launch it alongside Zelda or around the time Zelda's coming out. At least according to them. Maybe it will be a cross-generation platform game. Maybe. I guess he says, you know, that we'll we'll see the new hardware announced and talked about by 2024. Well, if it's announced in early 2023 and launches alongside Zelda, I guess that would make that would that would if that would fit the by 2024 definition. That also would mean the system's launching in 2023. Look, I don't know, guys. Look, this is total speculation territory and there's so much i kind of want to say about this but i feel like we're going to have a live stream tonight where this is probably going to be the lead topic and we'll talk at length about this we'll take you know callers and and, and deal with all of that all i want to say for this moment now is this i am excited for tears of the kingdom and everything else that happens around it's just going to kind of be a bonus. I don't know what's going on. These rumors are painting. I'm not going to say a bleak future, but at least showing that Nintendo knows they're at the end of Switch and sort of a roadmap that some point next year we're seeing the new system and some point early 2024 or sooner we're going to actually be playing it. I'm just I'm just delivering the news, guys. I, I didn't make this stuff up. You saw the tweets on screen. It is what it is. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's the fun part about rumors. So you guys can be your thoughts on this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.